Hello and welcome to Master Business English. I'm Karima, your business English coach. Today, I would like to talk about why present simple tense is so important, when to use it, and of course, the typical mistakes to avoid. Today's lesson will be a very important lesson, so please uh, keep focus. Okay, so when do we use present simple? That is super important because in this case, we're going to know when to apply it in order not to confuse with other tenses. So let's see. Very good. You need to understand that that is important. So why is present simple tense important? First of all, it is used for description in general, for giving facts, information, for routines and habits, for truth, and also for permanent situations. So these conditions are really important, specifically because in this case, okay, you should know when to use only the present simple. In other words, if you have one of these conditions in the action you would like to express, you should just only use present simple and absolutely no any other tense. But if you have a combination, some of these conditions, or maybe all of them in one of the actions mm, or situations you would like to express, then you must use only present simple tense. Okay? So don't forget, or one, or some, or all of them, but you can't use any other tense, just in this case, with these conditions, the present simple tense. Let's see three examples, because by, with examples, we understand better how to use it. Mm -hmm. And so better to remember the concept, okay, the examples will help you to internalize the information in your mind. Mm -hmm. Let's see. For description in general, for example, he manages the idea division. He manages the idea division. We are describing his work, what he does. For giving information, facts, instructions, or also directions, we have, as an example, open the box from the left side. She works in the headquarters. They place orders in the app. Those examples are facts. They are giving information. Open the box from the left side. It is an instruction. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next one. Permanent situations. After lunch, he smokes to be ready to work. After lunch, he smokes to be ready to work. In this case, okay, this is a permanent situation. For routines and habits, his tasks are to write reports, processes payments, deals with customer refunds. Those are routines because are his tasks. They deal with customers' complaints. Also, it's a habit, it's a routine. For general truths, water freezes at zero degrees. The earth revolves around the sun. The water boils at 100 degrees. Those are truth in general. So as you can see, some of these examples, okay, have one or more than one of the previous conditions we studied in the slide before. So when we have one or a combination or all of those conditions, we must use just present simple tense and not any other tense. Okay, go on. Do you understand the importance of the present simple? Why present simple is so important? Because we use this tense a lot. Imagine 
routines, descriptions, giving information, facts, truth, permanent situations. As you can see, those situations, we often use them. We often talk about those situations. For that reason, the present simple is important. For example, in business English, we want to talk to describe okay, our work because we are professionals or we are workers and we have a customer that comes to our company. So we introduce ourselves and we explain to this person, we start with a company to describe the company and which tense do we, should we use? Present simple. Then, of course, we talk about our work in the company, like professionals, workers, clerks, it doesn't matter. Mm? But we start to describe our tasks in the company. So, as you can see, we normally use the present simple tense for speaking. Okay? For that reason, in business, in work, every day. Also, when you travel and you meet someone on the street or you ask, for example, a direction because you are lost and you want to get your, your hotel, for example. So then you ask for information. You make a question and the other person replies to you and give you the answer in present simple. As your question too. So, can you see here? Hmm? That's why present simple is really important to be learned correctly. And therefore, you should use how to use it correctly too, in order to avoid misunderstandings. Let's go on. So, in a positive sentence, we have a structure we must apply. We cannot omit any part of this next structure and you cannot exchange the precision of that. Here we have in a positive sentence, we always, we always, we must always follow, okay, the structure. So subject, auxiliary, verb, and complement. That is a structure you should follow but not only in present simple in all the tenses so don't forget to start with your subject don't forget because that is sincerely important hmm? and then remember not to exchange the positions or to omit one of them so again review subject auxiliary verb complement in a positive sentence remember that Let's see, present simple tense. In positive, there's no auxiliary in the present simple tense. So there's no auxiliary in the present simple tense in a positive sentence. Let's see, when we have I, you, we, they, the verb goes in infinitive. Goes in infinitive. So we do not conjugate the verb it remains in infinitive. Only with the subjects I, you, we, and they. Let's see an example or some examples. They work in the afternoon. They work in the afternoon. Work. They work, verb in infinitive. We provide you a copy of our sales report weekly. We provide you a copy of our sales report weekly. We provide. The verb provide is again an infinitive. On the other side, we have he, she, and it. When we have the subject pronouns he, she, and it, the verb goes here at the end with s, es, or ies. Okay? Again, when you have the subject pronoun he, she, and it, only with them, only with he, she, and it, the verb, to the verb, we must add S, E, S, or I, A, S. 
Let's see some examples. He works in the afternoon. He works in the afternoon. Works because we're talking about he. And here to the verb work, we add s. She teaches finance. She teaches finance. Here we have teaches. She teaches to the verb teach. We add e s. Because the subject is she. I would like to give it to you an advisor. When you're learning present simple in order to internalize and to memorize the rules, I mean, to be part of your of your speaking in order to become fluent, because that is the objective okay, of every language, hmm, you should exaggerate some things. For example, I would like to learn about the, this rule. I always forget, for example, I always forget when I am speaking. Hmm? So you exaggerate when you are doing your homework, hmm, you read and keep the last sound just in order to remember or to internalize the information in your brain. For example, she works in the afternoon. She teaches finance. In that way, you're going to remember. You're going to internalize. You're going to put that information in your brain so your brain, when it will speak, will use the correct grammar because those are tricks that you must remember and you must apply to. Okay, go ahead, Karima. Here we have again, remember, in present simple tense in positive, there's no auxiliary. Let's go to check some conjugation in present simple. So the rules, he, she, and it, only with the subject he, she, and it, the verb ends in s, e, s, or i, e, s, as I mentioned before. First rule, the verb plus s. That is the main rule, the general rule. So to the verb, we should as, add the s when we need to conjugate with the subject pronoun he, she, or it. Okay? In an example, he writes several reports. He writes several reports writes just the s we just apply the main rule next rule when the verb ends in s s s s h c h x or o to the verb we add e s again when the verb ends in s s s s h c h x or o to the verb we add e s let's see some examples he rarely discusses with the client what information to put in his reports he rarely discusses with the client what information to put it in his reports discusses why discusses because that verb discuss ends in double s s s so as a consequence, we add ES because the subject pronoun is he. The next rule, when the verb ends in consonant plus Y, keep it this, this in mind. Consonant plus Y, we drop the Y and we add IES to the verb. Consonant plus Y, we drop the Y and we add I, A, S. An example, she carries the photocopies. Carries, the verb ends in consonant plus Y, carry. So we drop the Y and add I, A, S. Other example, he always replies to the sales department. He always replies to the sales department. Here we have reply again, consonant plus Y, we drop the Y and add the I, E, S. Very good. Yes, ready? Go. Have you understood the rule of the third person conjugation? 
easy as pie, right? So, let's practice. Now it's your turn. Here we have, you should write he, she, it forms of the next verbs. Catch, try, miss, wish. Catch, try, miss, wish. Let's see. Here we have catches, tries, misses, wishes. Why? In the first one, we applied the second rule because the verb end in CH, so we add ES. In the second, the verb end in consonant plus Y. We drop the Y and add IES. Number three, misses is double S. Therefore, we add ES. The number four is wishes. It ends in SH. So then we add ES. More. Carry, buy, rush, play. Carry, buy, rush, play. Let's see. The conjugation. Carries, buys, rushes, plays. Carries, buys, rushes, plays. Carries. It ends in consonant plus Y. We drop the Y and add IES. In the number six, be careful here. Open your eyes. Watch it very well. It ends in consonant plus Y. No, it ends in vowel plus Y. For that reason, we apply the general rule, just this, because it is not consonant plus Y, it is vowel plus I. Therefore, we apply, we add just this, the general rule. Number seven, rushes, it ends in SH, we add to the verb ES. The last one is exactly the number eight, is Consonant plus Y? No, it's vowel plus Y. For that reason, we just add the S. Okay? Remember that. More verbs. Enjoy, try, fix, copy. Enjoy, try, fix, copy. Enjoys, tries, fixes, copies. Enjoys, tries, fixes, copies. Enjoys, here is again, vowel plus Y. For that reason, we just add the S to the verb. In number 10, we have consonant plus Y. So we drop the Y and add I, E, S. In the number 11, the verb ends in X. For that reason, we add ES. In number 12, the verb ends in consonant plus Y. We drop the Y and add IES. More examples. To help you to practice. Fry, fetch, attach, watch. Fry, fetch, attach, watch. Let's see. Fries, fetches, attaches, watches. Fries, fetches, attaches, watches. Number 17, it is a consonant plus Y. We drop the Y and add I, E, S. In number 18, it, the verb ends in CH. For that reason, we add just E, S. In the number 19, the verb ends in CH. So we add ES. Number 20, 
it ends in CH again, and we add ES. Excellent job. Good work. Therefore, structure and conjugation. That will be our next topic in our next webinar next Wednesday. Come on to study, practice, and learn with us next Wednesday, Wednesday at 1700 hours or 5 p.m. If you have any question or any doubt or whatever you would like to study or a comment or, um, or a topic you would like we teach you, just write down on the comments and we will create a lesson specifically for you. And also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow our channel. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for today and have a great day. See you soon. Bye.